hello guys uh, in this video we are going to design this web page with this uh, moving cloud effect so let's start with the coding so I have uh, this index.html page and the CSS and there's a the image folder so inside this image folder I have all these images like all the cloud images so those are PNG images and for this background I'll be having this image okay so let's start with the HTML Now we'll link the external CSS file in this image, in this HTML file. Okay. So now uh, we'll be adding two blocks. So this block will be having these uh, images and all these uh, cloud, and this uh, block will be having this content. So let's add a main container and inside this container we'll be having two more containers the first container is having the class name is banner or container 1 and in the next uh, block we'll be having container 2 class okay so first we will design this uh, container 1 this part and after that we will be designing the container 2 so let's start so margin is uh, 0 pixel and padding will be 0 pixel and the font family for the complete uh, web page I'll be using okay so we'll start with the container one so let's add the background image first so this is the background image so let's add it so inside the image folder I have that image available which is this. so the background image size would be cover and the width 100% height 50% height and uh, the background position would be center so let's see how it looks okay so first we need to give the container should be width 100% and height to be 100 vertical height so that's why it was not coming so now you can see we have this available so let's uh, increase the height of this uh, container one it would be 60% okay it looks fine now so let's add those uh, clouds okay first we'll add this one the banner text so inside this uh, container one we'll add h2 tag <coughs> so let's add the style for this h2 so the container one position would be relative because we'll be using uh, absolute uh, position for h2 top would be 50% because we want to place it in the center so top 50% and left also 50% and the transform and 
translation minus 50 percent minus 50 percent so now if you see it will come here okay so let's change the color of this we we'll put z index 99 and color will be white okay so till this part we are fine so now we'll be adding the all the clouds so for the cloud will be at one deep element so let's give a name of the class cloud so inside we'll be having how many images we have I think I have five images okay so let's add five image tag five image tag the source let's add the source image and cloud one so I'll be changing the name cloud two three four and five so all the clouds uh, I'll be adding one variable and the value would be one two three four and five so let's uh, design the cloud okay so inside this uh, cloud class so let's uh, overflow overflow be hidden cloud so let's add the animation first so let's give a name of that animation cld any any name if you want then you can give let's add the calculation So this is the variable which we have declared inside uh, to the all the uh, image tag. So linear infinite. Let's add the opacity. Point six. The max width of all the images will be hundred percent. and position absolute bottom 0 pixel so let's add the keyframe so this would be the name of the cloud uh, iframe so when it's 0 percent the transform translation x would be minus 100 percent and when it's 100 percent then transform translate x would be 100 percent so let's see our cloud should start moving okay now it's moving and all the different different animations um, times are getting applied to the different different images because we have added this calculation which is getting multiplied with uh, 8 seconds and uh, this the value of this variable we are getting from this uh, here inside the image tag we have defined one two three four five okay so till this part we have done this part and now let's design this <coughs> so we we'll, we can copy and paste all these things from this dummy page okay so for this uh, the second container let's add one h4 tag let's paste it and one p tag for this container two let's give a width be sixty percent and margin 20 pixel auto so 
let's see how it looks okay I think it would be 50 percent so design the header now what is the tag we have used it's a h4 <coughs> so text align will be center and color is gray and font size is 18 pixel and for the down text let's copy the whole thing instead of h4 we'll be using p and the size will be 14 pixel the color will be a little light or dark or light and should not be center so let's check how it looks okay so here we have some line height so let's add the line height 20 pixel 20 pixels little less so we need to increase the line height let's try with 25 and okay so the line height will be 25% pixel and uh, let's add padding of 20 pixel okay so our page is ready so it looks exactly not exactly same to same but it's 90% same okay so if you want the code uh, code base so i'll push the code base in the git and i provide the link in the description if you want then you can pull the code and you can use in your real project or you can uh, put some more elements or you can put more styles so if you like this video then please subscribe this channel